And if ever there was any doubt whether this young man has captured the boxing public's imagination, that tumultuous reception will have dispelled any doubts at all. Frank Bomber Bruno, in the hands of Terry Lawless, standing just this side of him, 21 years old, 6 feet 3, 15 and a half stone of raw power. 18 fights, 18 wins in 18 months. And nobody yet has taken him beyond five rounds. Well, tonight, he's got the great test because Cummings is a man who has shown so far in his career that he can stand up to almost anybody. And he's met some of the best heavyweights in the world, including the former heavyweight champion, Joe Frazier. He's recently been in with Tim Witherspoon, who fought for the world title earlier this year. And although Witherspoon had him down, he couldn't stop him. He's been in with Ronaldo Snipes, who's also fought for the world title. And Snipes couldn't stop him. The only man who has stopped him is Jeff Sims of the United States, who stopped him in eight rounds a short time ago. And strangely enough, Sims is the man who sparred with Frank Bruno when Bruno went to Chicago in July to fight uh, Mark Jameson. So what a setting this is tonight. Fanfares, the spotlights, a tremendous fight in prospect, 10 rounds they have to go, and a very, very expectant and full Albert Hall. Our MC, the familiar figure and voice of Bernard Sullivan, is just waiting while they finish gloving up Frank Bruno. confrontation of two very big and powerful men and just look at the shoulders on this man Cummings you can see why they call him Jumbo Cummings and Bruno himself of course one of the best physiques in British boxing can Cummings become the first man to test Bruno to the full in the black trunks the name glittering on the legs of those trunks thirty one stone of power there between them Cummings with moustache and beard white trunks thirty three years old now didn't begin fighting as a pro until he was in his 29th year and until he came out of jail where he served 12 years of a longer sentence he's on parole still for a murder that was committed when he was with a group in Chicago when he was 17 years old
Cummings is a very big man indeed. His development across the shoulders is really quite startling. We're accustomed to seeing Bruno tower over some opponents and look massive. In fact, he's matched and more than matched here by the physique of this huge American. in jail <laughs> Cummings has had 21 fights only three more than Bruno but he's been fighting in much higher class climb in the rankings of the world's heavyweights this is one of the men he has to overcome Still, his legs are gone, and I don't know, he got himself back to the corner. Look at that. Fell into the arms of Lawless, and Lawless took him back, and Lawless has to bring him out for the second. The seventh. A white blob of grease above Bruno's left eye. And still Bruno, for all his awesome punching power we've seen in 18 previous fights, still has not imposed himself on Jumbo Cummings. The man can take his punches. No knockdowns, but plenty of action. These do hit the deck, they'll hear it all over Kensington. Oh, there's the right. He's found him at last. There's the big Bruno right. That's the one he's been saving. And Cummings wishes he'd saved it a bit longer. Now then, can the big American survive it? He's got it. First knockdown. What a sensation. He's made it to his feet, but his legs have gone and he's counted out. Boy, 
Jumbo coming has been stopped for the second time in his life and faster than he's ever been stopped before. And Bruno is the hero of the night and of the year. About two minutes and 40 seconds of the seventh round, we make it. And Frank Bruno has come back from the verge of defeat to sensational victory. What an amazing fight that was. And what an evening for Bruno. He looks totally shattered by the experience, but he's just beginning to realize he is the hero of the Albert Hall, and he's beginning now to enjoy the reception.